Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically create preview links for your HTML emails in Netlify using the Emailify plugin. So this is going to allow you to share preview links of your email designs exported to HTML with stakeholders or clients or anyone on your team. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the resources icon at the top of your Figma file. And if you click on that and then search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, you'll see Emailify pop up. If you just go ahead and click on that result, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on the more options icon here and clicking save Figma plugin. And that's gonna save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna right click on my canvas. I'm gonna go down to plugins. I'm gonna go down to saved plugins, and then I'm just gonna click on Emailify. And that's gonna run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So in this tutorial, I'm not gonna be going through details of how to design the emails. Uh, there's some other tutorials on our YouTube channel that you can find in the Emailify playlist if you wanna jump into that. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already got your emails designed using the Emailify components uh, that you've customized. And basically the email's ready to go and you just wanna now upload it to Netlify to create a preview link to share that design uh, exported as HTML with stakeholders for approval. So all we need to do is click on the export HTML button. And once we've done that, we can see here that by default, it's gonna export the HTML email to download to the computer. But in this case, we wanna export it to Netlify. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and find the upload preview link group and I'm gonna click on the Netlify option. So Netlify is a platform that hosts static uh, websites or static HTML. So this is gonna allow us to automatically upload our HTML email from Figma up to a Netlify preview link. So all you need to do is click on this personal access token link here. And if you're logged into Netlify, which I am, uh, if you don't have a Netlify account, you can create a free one. Uh, if you're a Netlify user, you can just sign in. And if you click on that link, you'll be taken to the applications page in your settings panel. So what you need to do is go down to personal access tokens and click on new access token. So I'm gonna click that and then add a description. So in this case, I'm just gonna say Emailify and click on generate token. And that's just gonna give me a new personal access token that I can copy. So I can copy that to my clipboard by clicking on this little copy icon here. And it's worth storing that somewhere safe in a password manager or something like that uh, to reuse again later if you like, uh, because once you leave this page, uh, it's not gonna be able to show you that token again. So just something to keep in mind. So after you copy it to your clipboard, go back to Figma, go back into the Emailify plugin, and in this input field here with the key icon, just click on that and then paste in that token that we just copied. So I'm gonna paste that in and that's just gonna to connect to Netlify and automatically generate a new Netlify site. So what that does is it basically just creates a brand new site in your Netlify uh, account and it gives it this random name that comes from Netlify. Um, you can obviously go ahead and change that site name as well. So if you click on the change site name link, so I'm gonna click on that now and that's basically just gonna take you directly to the new site that was just created uh, by the plugin using the API. So you can see here, it's currently called Majestic Dolphin. We probably aren't gonna be sending a link called Majestic Dolphin to our clients. So in order to change that, all we need to do is click on the change site name button in Netlify. And if we change that now to be uh, something more relevant, so we'll just say uh, email Jiro Sushi Preview and I'm just gonna call it that and click save. Uh, just something to keep in mind is that the site name does have to be unique. So it can't be the same uh, subdomain as any other subdomain on Netlify. So you just wanna make it something unique. And once you've changed that in Netlify, you can just jump back into Figma, click on this little refresh icon. That's just gonna reload the Netlify site. And you can see here that it's picked up on the fact that we've just changed the site name uh, to email Jiro Sushi Preview. So this is now gonna be our new domain. Um, and it's worth noting that the site ID here stays the same. So we could basically change that once again. So if I changed it to, uh, you know, preview link, for example, we could cl click save. And if we jump back again, refresh that, uh, it's gonna automatically change that again to the same site ID. So that's just a really easy way to rename the site. 
Uh, then all you need to do is just put in all your details as usual, subject line, pre-header text, all that sort of stuff. And now all we need to do is click on upload to Netlify. So I'm going to click on upload to Netlify. That's just going to generate the HTML and upload the images that it normally does. And then it's going to upload it to Netlify. So it's pretty quick. We can see here that it's telling us that our Netlify preview link has been uploaded. And so if we click on the Netlify preview URL, so I'm going to click on that link. That's going to open up the URL that we just created. And you can see here that we've got our HTML preview ready to go. So this is uh, the HTML that was just exported from Figma. Uh, we can see that it's uh, looking exactly the way we wanted based on the preview in Figma. And we can now send this link around to team members or stakeholders or anyone who needs to approve the design. Uh, you can basically just share that link now without having to manually upload it yourself. Uh, you can also download the zip file. So if you wanted to have a copy of the files that were uploaded to Netlify, all you need to do is click on download your zip file, click on save, and that's just going to create a zip file on your desktop or wherever you save it. And if we open up that folder after unzipping it, we can see here that these are the files that were uploaded. So the index.html file, um, which is the preview file, that was what was uploaded to Netlify, which is pointing to our email here so this is the email contents and the images and everything like that so um yeah that's basically what it looks like there um, so yeah i hope that's helpful if you've been wondering how to generate preview links automatically if you're sending around html email exports from figma uh, to clients or stakeholders uh, this is going to be a lot easier than manually downloading the preview files and uploading them to a you know s3 bucket or a netlify site yourself uh, this is just a really quick way of automating that process to upload the preview links to Netlify, uh, which is a really good platform for hosting static sites. Um, so that's going to be it for today. I just want to keep it really simple to show you this new uh, export feature from Emailify. And uh, I hope you find it useful for you and your team. And I hope that that improves your workflow uh, for sharing around HTML email preview links with stakeholders. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.